Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ Bahasham, is in the name of Raka Kwadash, is the Holy Spirit. And also shall to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And shall to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and the sincerity shall This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And the title of this video, Lord Willing, is going to be The Economic Collapse. All right. It says here, top investor warns U.S. economy is going to collapse. Okay. And Hey, even even before this, uh, this top investor or whoever he is, man, you know we already knew that through the spirit, man. Okay, because the Lord has given us the understanding of the scriptures, you know, starting with the apostles and the elders on down, been been telling you people this for years, man. Okay, you know the the Lord is going to uh, plague this place, man. Okay, economic collapse, food shortage, famines, pestilence, uh, hitting this place as plagues as as Egypt before. Okay, let me read. Let me read this article a little bit here. Uh, this is. Uh, it says in quotations an opinion that U.S. economy is on the verge of collapse. Said a Wall Street veteran in an interview published by Market Watch on Wednesday. Financial veteran and crypto investor Michael Novogratz. Novogratz uh, says interview by Market Watch before the Federal Reserve decided to increase interest rates said the country is heading into the likelihood of a really fast reception uh recession salaki you know that's why scripture says babylon is suddenly falling man okay this place is going to collapse speedily man it says novogratz is is the uh founder and ceo of investment management firm galaxy digital and is a veteran of wall street who has worked among many places at Goldman Sachs, Sachs for 11 years. So this is a veteran saying this, man. Okay? You know? And starting with the apostles and the elders, brothers on down. Hey, we're veterans through the spirit. Okay? And we, we've been telling people that this place is going to collapse, man. So you even got, you even got uh, carnal men telling you that, that this place is going to collapse. And spiritual men tell you that this place is going to collapse, man. Okay. Esau's rulership, the end of this world, is going to come to an end. It says we are going into a into a really fast reception, and you can and you can see that in lots of ways. He had it, man. <laughs> you see, okay, because you got him. You got inflation. Okay, you got you got the lack of people wanting to have. People wanted to work again, man. Ever since that pandemic, man, this place has been on a uh, this place has been on a collapse, man. Okay, and you got it. The Lord has the Lord is not dealing with you if, you if you can't see it, man. All right, it says housing is starting to roll over. He said In inventories have exploded. Uh, there are layoffs in multiple industries. And the Fed is stuck. It says with a position of having of having to hike interest rates until inflation rolls over, man. The uh, the value of the dollar is decreasing every day, man. But you niggas are still trying to uh, trying to invest in Babylon, man. It says in, in its struggle to curb inflation, the Federal Reserve increased its key interest rate by three quarters of a point on Wednesday. The largest bump since 1994. And uh, let me read this last little paragraph here. It says the Fed's interest rate hike has experts talking about the increased likelihood of the country entering a recession. Despite the fact that the Fed has been trying to avoid exactly, uh, trying to avoid exactly such a painful turn of events, but as inflation continues soaring with the latest data released Friday showing a 
four decade high of 8.6 percent well above the two point target rate of inflation the u.s authority has aimed to the fed was pushing to making a tough decision man okay hey so this place is collapsing man you know let me actually look up here idea behind the Fed's rate hike is to make it costlier to borrow money. Okay. <laughs> and it says, which in theory should should tamp demand for purchase that require borrowing like home buying or buying items with credit cards. With the latest rate interest, I mean rate increase, consumers and businesses should brace themselves for a hit to their wallet. Experts say Okay, so it's gonna be harder to to get housings, you know, all that, man. Okay, because they they, they boosting the interest rate. You see, so this is gonna to lead to this place falling, man. It's nothing else, nothing else but this place to fall. Let me actually start here. Jeremiah fifty one and verse eight. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain if so if so be she may be healed we would have healed babylon but she is not healed forsake her and let us go every everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies man okay hey so this place won't be healed man because the scripture says you know uh that deadly wound was healed you know, so, uh, so ancient uh, Rome, you know, being built back up. So this place is uh, going to be uh, brought back down, man. It says in, in Mal uh, Malachi, the first chapter, they shall build, but we, uh, but the Lord will throw down. The Lord is throwing down Babylon once again, man. You know, hitting this place has plagues before. Second Ezra 15, and verse 11. It says Egypt shall mourn. Let me start at uh, eleven. It's lucky. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. So the Lord is going to destroy America, Egypt. This is modern day Babylon, man. Modern day Egypt is Babylon, man. America, okay? Because Egypt is what house of bondage. And America is where the Israelites are in bondage unto this day, as it says in Baruch. Okay, so the Lord is smiting this place with the plagues as before, just like Egypt. Okay, you had in the news today or yesterday uh, about the cattle being destroyed by that heat wave, man. Okay, it could have been heat, but nevertheless, that's that's plagues, man. Food shortages. Okay, you had that one lady speaking of. Just a couple years ago, she can get hay and other stuff for her animals for just fourteen dollars. Now it's it was like sixty-eight dollars. That's that's more than double, more than triple. That's almost, uh, maybe even more than quadruple, man. Yeah, that's more than quadruple the price, man. Okay, so this place is going down, man. And if you can't see it, the Lord is not dealing with you, man. It says, Egypt, verse twelve. Egypt shall mourn. And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, is angry with this place, man. So he's hitting this place, you know, with the plagues, man, with the punishment, okay? And like I mentioned, man, if you can't see it, the Lord is not dealing with you, man. All right, let me go to uh, the book of Habu, Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. So we're at the end. So therefore, it's speaking, man. Okay, it's speaking through the prophecies and the Lord is speaking through his men. It says, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, man. These things are happening, man, as we speak. All right. 
you gotta be you gotta be a moron to be able to, to be able to not see it, man. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter one. Uh, before I get there, let me actually get it. Second Ezra six and nine. Uh, Second Ezra six and nine says, "For Esau is the end of the world." Okay, all right. This world is referring to an age, man. Uh, I want to mispronounce it, but uh, Ion uh, Oyen. A I O N, all right, going into the is uh three different worlds, man. All right, this is this world is we're speaking uh is referring to an age, man, a rulership. Esau's rulership, Esau is the end of the world. So, the so called white man, which is Esau, according to the scriptures, the so called white man being in power that marks the end of the beginning of the end of the world. Okay, it says, and Jacob, which is represents Israel, so called black, Spanish, and Native Americans. Okay, starting with the elect. Okay, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow us. So our rulership is, is beginning now. All right, because we're prophesying the downfall of this place and the beginning of our rulership. Man. All right, because the Lord, he, he gonna destroy. He's gonna destroy this age, this rulership, but not, he not gonna destroy this this earth. Ecclesiastes one and four for one generation passed away. And another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So this this place is going to abide forever, man. The world, man. Okay? But it's the rulership of Esau that's going down, man. All right? And the elect is going to come down from the heavens off the chariots and, and rule this place, man. Lord willing, we have that number, man, to, to be of that ruling class, to... To uh to rule this new world to come, man. All right, this new rulership, this new age to come. All right. So the Lord is the Lord is breaking down this place, man. All right. And this is uh First Thessalonians five verse verse one. But of the times and season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right, so the elect, you know, we know that this place is going to fall, man. Okay, but you other people, you got your head so far up your ass. Okay, you still trying to make it into this society, man. All right, you know, just watching the finals uh, earlier th earlier this evening. You know, you had Stephon Curry crying because he had won the championship, man. Okay, and I was just thinking, like, man, this man is crying, uh, not knowing that hey, his MVP trophy, these trophy, these, uh, these, uh, these trophies that these players win, these rings that they win, they're gonna, it's gonna be melted, man. Okay, so they're crying for over spoil, over spilled milk, pretty much, man. Okay, hey, but that's how, that's the joy we're gonna feel. You know, Lord willing, we we up in those chariots, man. Okay, but these people, it's gonna be, it's gonna hit them hard, man, because they don't know that the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. They don't see this place collapsing. Even if they do see this place collapsing, they're so engulfed with this place. They're so in awe with America. They're so uh, they're in wonder of this place, man. All right, you know that they that they're just dumbfounded, man. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as Jabril upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Let me get to uh, see if I can get this one scripture in Revelation 17. Come. Uh, <clears throat> this is Revelation 17, verse 8. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and, is, and, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. And go into perdition, speaking of America, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder. Okay, these people are wondering and in awe of this place, man. The non elect. It says, whose name were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is not and is yet. And it, and yet is. Okay, so these people are, are in awe. They, they are admiring. You know Babylon, man. You know, not knowing that this place is going to be destroyed, man. This place is going to be desolate, man. 
okay? This place is going to be desolate, you know? Thermonuclear missiles are going to burn this place, man. All right, you people are investing in this place, not knowing that that this place is, is this place is falling lower and lower every day, man. You know, and um, I believe that was the, that's all the precepts I had. Cause I had to redo the video, okay, because the volume wasn't acting right on the first one. You know, so that was pretty much the point there, man. All right, Babylon is falling, suddenly falling. This, this economy is collapsing, right? Call all y'all by Shemel Shah, man. You know, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close and give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, to honors to the apostles and elders, great most on peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next house, I say Shalom, and the Baba Ba, Shalom.